Oh, heck yeah! Hello you dirty potters, how are you today? Today is going to be a very simple unboxing video. Every now and then, and by every now and then I mean like every freaking week, somebody will ask if they can send me something, and this is one of the few cases in which I was like, you know what? Yeah, sure, I trust you. So today we have a package sent to me by one of my patrons. His name is Robert, I don't want to put his whole name up here in case any of y'all haters. And I was actually really surprised when he sent me this because his Instagram profile is like 10 times the followers I have. I will put his Instagram name down below so you guys can see his artwork. Now he told me there's some tools in here, but this is kind of heavy for my taste for tools. So we're gonna open this bad boy up and see what's inside. And of course, I'm gonna open it with Potter's tools because I don't have anything else in this place. Please don't be a bomb. Please don't be a bomb. Oh, this is, this is probably just padding. Yeah, this is just padding. Hello? Are there nudes in here? There's no nudes in here, so this must just be padding. So there's nothing inside this package, but like, there's a bunch of these, so are these, are these all padding? Are there nudes in here? Oh, ooh, I feel nudes. Get out of there, what is this? Oh, it's a little ceramic flower. Check that out, I'm pretty sure this right here is ceramic. And this down here looks like some type of bendable material. Yeah, this is, I can decorate my little house with this. Thank you, man, I really appreciate this. Hold on, is this just a ridiculous amount of flowers? Hold on, let me see. You know, I've never actually had anyone send me flowers before, but like, this is my preferred method of getting flowers. If they're, oh, this one's nice. Oh, he must know I love the color pink. He has to know. I know there's some people right now typing in the comments below, like, that's not pink, that's fuchsia. You can suck an egg, this is pink. He has to know, he has to know that one of my favorite colors is like, this pinkish color right here. And it looks like it was stilted right here. You know, but you know what? This is still good. I can sand that down easy and make that not sharp at all. So this, I like this. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate this. You know, when I was a kid, I never really understood why people give each other flowers as a sentiment of love. Because, like, real flowers die in three days. Just like true love. But these are different. These are ceramic, so they'll last forever and ever. Oh, another pink one! This is so nice. This is more romantic than I've ever gotten. This is literally more romantic courting than I've ever had in my entire life. I wonder if they're all stilted. Yeah, this is either a pit or a stilt, but you can see the little lines right there. One, two, three. This looks like a line of pitting, and that's not usually normal. And pitting's usually way smaller than this. So this has to be a stilt of some sort. He had to have laid it down like this in the kiln and put like a stilt right here in order to make sure it stays upwards. Aw oh, man, now I feel bad for telling all those other people they can't send me stuff. What if it was all just flowers? Oh, what is this? This thing feels heavy. This thing, this feels like ceramic. I can feel this through the package. This is definitely ceramic. Oh man, look at this. What is this? There's some blue in there and there's some brown right here. This kind of looks like it's a rutile base. I'm not sure if they use cobalt for the blue, but this definitely looks like a rutile base. And since rutile is mostly titanium, this might be this might be what that is. I don't know if it's a store-bought glaze or what. And it looks like you left the bottom raw. Look and there's a little there's this there's a little symbol right there. Oh, this is so cool. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. Hold on, wait. I know exactly what to do with this. Hold on. Bend these a little bit. Oh wait, hold on, yes I do. I know exactly what to do with this. Check it out, just like that. Boom, I'm a home decorator. Call my phone. These are so cool, thank you so much. This is this is like the first ceramic thing I've received in the mail. I mean, I had glaze, but this is like the, fir this is like the first product I've ever received in the mail. Thank you so much. Oh my God, this is amazing. You can see something else inside the box too. Oh, it's a pack of tools. And he even gave me some cards with it too. I'm not gonna show the front of the cards because it has like his phone number and his address and all that. And I don't want you trolls seeing that, so. But if you guys are looking for him on Instagram, his name is Fusion Firearms, right? So that's cool. He's really, really into craftsmanship. I can definitely tell by the rest of his Instagram page. I'll link him down below if you guys wanna check out his stuff. And this looks like the last thing he sent me inside the box. Let's see what all this is about. 
It looks like he just sent me a bunch of tools, and this is awesome. I don't know if you guys know, but these are wooden knives for potters, right? But these right here are the lower quality versions. So now he just sent me some really high quality versions. These are much better tools. They'll probably last a lot longer. These I would buy at a store for a much higher price than this, but these will last a lot, a lot longer, and I like them a lot. He even kind of fluted one down for me right here, so I get two different sizes. Technically, if you can see that, chip. Don't don't need these anymore. He also sent me some ribs like this right here, and I like this pattern a lot more because the majority of tools that you're gonna buy from pottery stores have this hole in the middle, kind of like this. And this is cool, but this can kind of wiggle around in your hands if you're just holding it like that. And these indents here really allow you to get a much better grip on your tool. So I'm really happy that he understands that on a craftsman level. He understands that like, this, throwing like this, not only hurts your fingers and your tendons and everything in your hand, but doing this is a lot more comfortable and gives you a lot more control. So I'm really happy that to see someone out there like actually understands what craftsmanship is as far as the comfortability of you holding your tools. And check it out, these have little edges on them. Oh man, these are super cool. I, I feel so I feel so bad that I'm getting things. And I assume that this right here is a scratch tool. Um, I don't know if you guys can kind of see it, but there's ridges right here. And usually whenever I'm putting cups or something together, I'll just kind of score one space so that the bondage, the inside, will really bond to each other inside the clay. But this right here kind of gets rid of this. I'll still use this to throw, but this right here can be a tool specifically for scratching the surface of anything I want to connect together if I really want the inside of the clay to connect with slip. So thank you. This is really nice. I like this a lot too. Here's another wooden knife, except for it has a straight edge instead of a pointed edge. So we have a sharp one, we have a dull one, and then we have a square one right here. This is really nice as well. This one kind of seems like it's a rib for the inside of your stuff. So imagine you're throwing a vessel and you want to put this inside and push this toward the outside of the vessel to make whatever shape you want. But I will say that I have a much bigger version of this already. So this is going to be used for like cups and whatnot. Thank you, man. Oh man. I, I don't know how many times I can say thank you. I actually feel a little bit bad because the majority of my studio is already functional. Like all the stuff is where it needs to be. So I have no place to put this. So I. I'm gonna have to make or build or buy another shelf to put to put stuff that you guys might want to send me. And I'm not gonna lie, all the stuff in my studio is kind of like, I need a bigger studio or I need space to put this stuff, so I'm definitely gonna be cleaning off some shelves and putting these in a very special place. I mean, I'll probably be using these, but this is gonna go somewhere special. But thank you guys so much for joining me. I really hope you like these unboxing videos. This had nothing to do with actual ceramic artwork as far as what I'm making or teaching you, but it's really nice to know that some of you guys care enough to send me some of your ceramic artwork and really care about craftsmanship on a level where it's very clear that you understand the difference in between a tool and a craftsman tool. Because a tool is really just meant to get the job done. But a tool for crafters is really all about the experience and how it feels when you make something and when you use something, how that translates into your artwork while you're using that tool. And that's really the difference. And it's really cool to see that I have patrons out there who understand that difference. So thank you very much, Robert, for sending me these things. And thank you guys for joining me in this video. If you want to see any of my actual artwork, the links are down below, my Facebook and my Instagram. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you, Dirty Potters, next week. Man, you guys better be careful sending me pink flowers and all that. You're going to get me in trouble, make a potter fall in love.